after a after a uh well human era caused a draw between Malachi Black and Trent Seven. It leads to this tag team matchup: the Mustache Mountain versus the House of Black. It shows how much WWE's roster has changed because both these men are now Murphy and Malachi Black are now in AEW and hell, Trent Seven isn't a part of WWE anymore either but the fact of the matter is it makes for an interesting tag team matchup right now as Malachi Black and Trent Seven continue their rivalry as Tyler Bate gets a little distracted by Malachi Black. Springing around is the Energizer Bunny. Springing around is the Energizer Bunny. And Murphy does what he does. Breaking down the body, starting to break down the body of Tyler Bate. I mean, if you want to tell, if you want to say people we haven't seen a lot of, Murphy and Malachi Black are two people we have not seen a lot of. And ever since the end of his feud with Finn Balor, we have not seen anything from Tyler Bate. Tyler wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. You know, Tyler Bate wasn't even in the Royal Rumble as Malachi Black actually interrupts Mur uh, Murphy's move and distracts Tyler Bate enough for now Murphy dropping Tyler Bate with a gut buster. I mean, these guys got to pay attention this time because we don't want another count out. <laughs> you know, we don't want another draw. I mean, the one thing that I would say is one thing that has not been very common, th uh, had not been very common, I should say, is countouts or draws or DQs, but recently it's become a little bit more common for countouts, DQs, and draws, or at least countouts, as people don't seem to want to respect the 10 count from the referees. I mean, this is when you say, well, what about a 20 count? Well, you can't raise the count, I don't think. Actually, I don't know that for certain. You might be able to, I don't know. But I'm also not going to turn it off because that's kind of the point of other stipula stipulations to remove the count. And regular one-on-one -on -one matches are not here to be no-holds-barred matches as Tyler Bate does a suplex like only Tyler Bate does, rocking back and forth and hitting a big suplex on Murphy as Trent Seven now enters the ring. Comp competition has been present with Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. Unquestionably, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven have had some competition over the, over the last couple of months, but their tag team still takes precedent over the competition and they are capable of putting aside their differences to step back in the ring together because of their because of how much I've never seen something like that. Back-to-back -back backbreakers from Murphy. A unique offense there. But how much their partnership matters more than a competition as Tyler Bate. I mean, Malachi Black is back in the ring, is now in the ring, and is going against the man who he fought to a draw during a recent news video. Spinning backhand takes down Malachi Black. Another spinning backhand. He's just taking him down fist by fist. As Murphy jumps in the ring, I don't necessarily know how Murphy... And Murphy just eats the spinning back fist from Tyler... from Trent Seven. Trent Seven is just giving it to everybody. And he... Roundhouse Larry by Trent Seven. And Trent Seven now makes the tag... Excuse me, makes the tag. This match, in my opinion, you gotta pointed out it shows how international WWE was at one point or another or how international WWE has been with each of these guys being from well an international port you know an international place I do believe uh, off the top of my head I do believe Malachi Black is from Finland no, no, the Netherlands. He's Dutch. Murphy's from Australia, and Tyler Bate and uh, Trent Seven are from the UK. 
and a twisting body press by Tyler Bate takes out Malachi Black on the floor. And again, these two gotta be aware as Malachi Black gets rammed into the apron. Tyler Bate goes for a leg sweep and Mal Malachi sees it coming and boots him right in the mush. Shinbreaker, dragon screw by Malachi Black. Tyler, I mean, Murphy was focusing on the... Into the ring post goes Tyler Bate. If a boot to the face wasn't enough, Tyler Bate eating the ring post is a little bit more. It, the count of seven. These two gotta get back in the ring as Tyler Bate realizes. Tyler Bate dives to the floor, takes out Malachi Black with a suicide dive. And Tyler tries to send him back in the ring, but again, eats the ring pose. I mean, eats the ring apron. Does Malachi Black. Malachi! Tyler Bate gives Malachi Black a taste of his own medicine, eating the ring post. Eating the ring post. Educated feet no more for Malachi Black as Tyler Bate sends Malachi into the ring barricade. Into the ringside barricade. And again. They gotta get back in the ring. It's a count of eight. Tyler Bate goes back to the outside and rams Malachi's face into the ring post. I mean, into the barricade. I know what he's doing. I swear. Brain buster on the floor. As, this, as these two continue to wallop each other on the floor. And into the barricade goes Malachi Black again. It looked like Tyler Bate was going for a snap suplex, but the educated feet of Malachi Black get the better of him. Tyler Bate wanted to get back in the ring, but Malachi cuts him off, and Malachi sends him back in the ring on his own accord. Malachi's got to get back in the ring. Malachi's got to get back in the ring. I don't know what he was going for there. It looked like a roundhouse kick. And Tyler, where was Murphy? Where was Murphy in that? Trent Seven came in the ring, but where was Murphy? Tiger Driver 97! Tiger Driver 97! Tiger Driver 97! And Mustache Mountain get the victory! My question is, where was Murphy? Why didn't Murphy get in the ring? Where, why, why, why didn't Murphy get in the ring? Either way, Mustache Mountain gets one over on the House of Black. And momentum in what has been a very much underutilized division in WWE 2K22 on my part. And that has been the tag team division. But maybe, just maybe, with how things have been going, you may see a little bit more from the tag team division as we continue. Either way, a solid victory for Mustache Mountain against the House of Black. With that being said, if you want to see more from the tag team division, let me know down in the comment section below. Either way, though, I will see you in the next video.